Hello and welcome to weekly vlog. I'm pretty sure it's 18, so it's 24th of June. Um, I'm taking a very brief little lunch break here. It's bucket and rain, so I'm not gonna go out for a walk and I'm not gonna take my full lunch break, A, because I've eaten and B, because I have some work to do. But I am planning to record a video tonight after work, which will probably be up. This will be on Thursday and it'll likely be up on Sunday. So I figured what I might do to be productive is set up my recording. So it's gonna be recording something to do, with, like, <laughs> keeping it mysterious. Gonna be recording something to do with hair. So I obviously need my mirror. So I'm just gonna set up my room so i'm going to just use my normal tripod and i'm going to put it probably there in front of the fireplace so and then i'll put my lights on yeah put my plants and stuff in the background so that's really my crack apart from that i'm just working miserable weather like i said just planning to record this evening morning and welcome to Friday. It is 8.27 and I am just getting ready to leave the house. I have an appointment. I'm just gonna have some tea and two pancakes. I'm wearing this jacket as like an actual shirt. I'm not sure these styles suit me that much because I'm short but I think it's kind of fun that I have a bodysuit under me. And yeah I think I'm going to rejig my video schedule so the appointment that I have today I will probably talk about later. But again, why I do this all the time as if it, it's all gonna be some big secret is, I don't understand it either, but it keeps the fun up. Hello, just in a very, very quick check-in. It is half past 11 on Friday night. I recorded a bit of YouTube after work and then I asked my sister just to see if she was home. She was, she actually had her in-laws up, her um, siblings, so my brother-in-law's sister and brother, sisters and brother, rather, who I haven't seen in quite a while. Um, and I just ended up spending the whole evening and um, I got dinner and everything. So I was up for before half past six and it's half past seven. I'm just home. Had a really, really good evening. It was really nice to see everyone and just spend time together. So yeah, now I am just home. I'm gonna get ready for bed. The park run starts back tomorrow. So I'm actually gonna do my park run. I'm just gonna do one of my normal running plans, but I'm just gonna do it at the park run. I'll just make it work. It's slightly longer than the actual 5k. So I'll do like a wee extra like the start or the end. <laughs> We've just done the first park run of 2021, which I think is the first park run since when? Mar Se Mar 7th of March? Yeah, 7th of March 2020. 2020. Um, and I think I got a pretty good time. And we also got photographed and interviewed by the Belfast Telegraph for so being watch this a wee family unit. <laughs> I, I don't think I did awfully well, but I was really buzzing being out here today for the first time. I think I actually might have done well, and I have my fingers so crossed to see if I actually did. Anyhow, it's brilliant. So, hello to all artists on YouTube <laughs> this channel. <mama>. Bye! <laughs> Hello, um, welcome to Saturday. I don't think I've actually really spoken today. Oh, I did after the park run. So, as it turns out, I got 29.27 on my park run. So, um, yeah, I ended up getting 29.27, which is like a really, really, really good time for me. It was a park run PB. And then we went out for breakfast with my cousin and my aunt and my cousin's husband. Molly and I went to M&S because she had a voucher for M&S. We had a tea and scones and then we did some charity shop, shop, shopping. And then I did like three hours of YouTube editing and then my sister's just left. So I have mom in the morning and then Carl's coming down. That is my crack. It was a good day. I had fun. I'm not making my bed tonight. I simply refuse. I'm gonna sleep in the spare room again. Scratch. 
Good morning and welcome to Sunday. It's actually kind of afternoon. Oh my god, it's five to one. Um, yeah, so it is five to one. We are on the way to Hillside to pick up um, a plant pot for my dad. Um, I, we were actually, my dad and I were going to go yesterday, but they closed at half past four on a Saturday, which is very early. And then we are maybe going to pop into the Abbey Centre on the way as Kyle has an exchange to do. And then we are meeting our friend Morna in town. And I think we're going to go to a new place on Botanic. We said it really could have been open in the last year and a half, which is how I have to do it. We both are with Botanic. Um, called the G Store. And then we may or may not go mini golfing. It's a really nice day. It's actually really hot. It's actually really hot. So if you could wrap this up. So <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Open, the, close the window so I could talk. But yeah, um, I was at mass this morning and then just pottered about, sorting out my video for this evening, which I have all done now. So yeah, we're just gonna go enjoy the day. Well, don't do that. Do I have to find it though? Yeah. Brace face. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Monday. It is 20 to 8. I have just been, well not just been, I got back at 7. And um, I finished work at 6, went straight out for a run. I did a 45 minute run, so I did 4 miles in 45 minutes, which is alright. Not the best. Um, and then I had dinner, shared my YouTube video. Obviously if you watch my channel, if you watch my channel regularly, you'll see how many views my, video get, my videos get, which is kind of like... I would say on average between 50 and 100 and maybe would sit at like 70 and like as of now which is just like just about 13 hours since I posted my video about getting braces I wasn't going to post because I was like I don't really think anyone's gonna find it like that interesting and then I was like I might just talk about it in my vlog instead it's over 600 views that has to be my second most viewed video ever if yeah it is my second most viewed video ever and that's in 12 hours it has got more videos that more views than like 99% of my other videos the one other video that I got has like 1500 views which is like my most ever but that was posted like last August or like coming up in a year that's insane obviously people are very interested in braces and I wasn't gonna post it I hit my tooth actually I did say some people in the comments that I would update on my braces in my vlogs and um, I probably will do a video either when they come off or when I get my second bracket on I hit my tooth with a glass when I was eating. I think everything looks normal, but I had a pint glass and I just misjudged it. I was talking to my mom and I banged my front tooth, honestly, maybe 20 minutes ago and my tooth is aching. It's really, really, really sore, like really painful. I'm going to wash my hair because it's obviously dirty. I did mention in my vlogs a few weeks back that I'm washing my hair twice a week. I used to only ever wash it once a week. I have been trying to run more regularly. So I'm doing it twice a week and I'm just sort of sucking it up and just doing it on whatever day it needs done. But I want to try this Philip Kingsley elasticizer. So Molly bought this for me for my Christmas present and I have used a mini one before that I haven't actually used the one that she bought me. So it hasn't actually been opened because she obviously, oh my goodness, does it come with a shortcut? It comes with a shortcut. Obviously, like I said, she bought it for me for Christmas, but Kyle got me the Olaplex stuff for my Christmas present and I wanted to do the video about my Olaplex, which I'll link if anyone's interested. So I've gotten into a really big habit of just using Olaplex. I got a Look Fantastic box, which is another video that's coming and I got another Philip Kindley product in that, which reminded me of using this. So I'm gonna go dampen my hair now, work this into my hair. Finer hair textures should double shampoo. 
minutes ago. You would think that thicker hair would need to double shampoo to remove all products more than final. Finer. Also, I'm still talking a bit weird, but so I'm gonna go work this into my hair and then sit and get all my YouTube stuff on and like edit most of this vlog in like the half an hour that I wait and then wash my hair and get ready for bed. It's only quarter to eight, but by the time I do this, do YouTube, wash my hair, then I wanna get in bed because I wanna watch me and Naples new YouTube video and I also wanna read tonight. I got like 16,000 steps on Saturday, 15,000 steps yesterday and 14,000 steps today. So I'm pretty buzzing, but I'm also pretty due for an early night. And also Kyle is staying with me Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of this week because my parents are going to Donegal. I was gonna say Dublin, they're going to Donegal. So he is coming up in the morning. He is on study leave and work. So he'll be downstairs doing self-managed learning and I will be upstairs working, but I'll have a guest and we might record some stuff. I have a video or a video idea or two that I have been wanting to do for a while and he like could or could not be in them depending on what he fancies. So I mentioned it to him last night and one of them he said yes. So he will probably appear. I really need to find somewhere in my room where I can set my camera when I'm standing and talking that I can just set my camera on top of it because I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit annoying having to find somewhere to set it every time. Excuse how weirdly greasy I look. I just have my normal nighttime moisturizer on. I did put oil on my face earlier because I was using a facial razor. Try and balance it on this bottle. Let's turn the bottle upside down. That seems like a foolish thing to do. I was using a facial razor earlier, basically. So I put some oil on, so I don't know if that is why I look so greasy. I have, sorry, I'm probably being really annoying and moving about, but I've just noticed I had a towel in my room. So I want to put that out to dry in the banister because I'm not interested in having a room that smells like a teenage boy. So I have just wash my hair well not just wash my hair i washed my hair a while ago and i used the philip kingsley elasticizer and then i just used my new bed head shampoo which i got a few weeks ago the one for dehydrated hair sorry that was really gross but i'm trying to i haven't been moving my upper lip when i'm talking and i'm starting to think it makes me look really weird it's just easier because it doesn't catch on my braces but i don't know if i will only get used to it catching on my braces if i move it i don't know i'm very self-conscious of my image right now yeah so i also then after i did that i used the um i used all my normal hair care stuff which is the Olaplex number three, the Provoke Lightning Spray, Aussie Leave-In Conditioner, L'Oreal Mythic Oil and then after I used my normal hair care I used the Philip Kingsley Finishing Serum. I actually just before I did that I actually put a little bit of mousse in because of what I'm doing now and then I used the Finishing Serum. I'm not sure that the Finishing Serum is for me. I don't know if maybe it would be better to use it after I like curl my hair or after I straighten it. I need to read. I'm gonna re like google it after and see how it's recommended for use because when I am putting it on like freshly dried hair it kind of just feels like I'm making it kind of like wet or dirty so it's like called like a polishing serum so I think maybe it would be for when you've just curled your hair and you put it through and give your curls a bit of shine but I've put that on and then I've dusted on my hair in the overnight curls which I haven't done in ages. The way that they're sitting right now is making me think that they're going to work out really well. I usually put it way too far forward and I try to put it much further back so they should be much more off my face but I haven't actually tried these since I got my hair cut and got the bangs on the front of my face so I'll let you know how those worked out tomorrow morning and um, my hair is damp but not wet so hopefully it'll be dry and hope my roots are pretty much dry so hopefully my hair won't get that kind of weird greasy thing you know when you go to sleep with it kind of damp and then it wakes up and has dried kind of dirty morning and welcome to tuesday i mentioned last night that i'm really struggling i cannot find somewhere in my room where i can set my camera where i can stand up i have you on a upside down cup on a shelf and it's still really low so i actually wanted to quickly just come on well i'm going to show you my hair once I do it. I did a look fantastic with her and I do have separate videos about like some of the things that I bought. I also got the Pixie Glow Tonic. So I used it yesterday for the first time. The one thing I'm noticing now, I don't think it's anything to do with the Pixie Glow Tonic. I didn't do my skincare kind of a few days in a row and I can feel two spots on my forehead and then a wee spot here. The wee spot here might be from I used a facial razor last night and um, originally I actually was just using it for my upper lip which we really need it done. I have a medical thing and it increases the growth of hair on my facial area. So I always do need to do my upper lip and chin um, would get quite bad. I should have actually just waxed it or sugared it, but I just couldn't really be bothered. And the biggest issue was that there wasn't actually that much hair, but I had put fake tan on and then it was really hot. So my skin had got dry. So the fake tan had actually like gathered around the hair. So I just used a facial razor. They're the Wilkinson sword ones and they're actually quite good. 
skin so then I kind of did my cheeks and stuff and the amount of like peach fuzz that came off my cheeks was mad. I might have had a bit of a reaction. But yeah, the thing that I noticed about this tonic toner, A, I quite like the smell, but B, it doesn't like make my face sting at all and like I'm just kind of accustomed now to toners like not hurting my face, it doesn't usually hurt you toners having like a sting to them like and I always feel like oh yeah I like that feeling like it feels almost as if it's like doing something. This doesn't do it. That's my skin after being toned. Yeah, the reason why I bought this was because the toner that I have been using, you're only supposed to use at night and I just wanted to tone my face in the morning because I do have oilier skin. It does say it's a glycolic acid exfoliating toner now. It's 5%. My normal toner is also glycolic acid and it's 7%. This does say AM and PM. This is PM. So obviously 2% must be significant enough if one is meaning AM and PM and the other one's just PM. So I'm just going to do the rest of my skincare and then I will, I might give my hair a spray of hairspray. I actually just slept with them down as well, almost like pat, and that was way more comfortable than when I try and wrap it up and out of my head and they stayed in their things completely. So I might just give a wee spritz of hairspray before I take it out and then I'll show you how it looks. Um, um, ah. Put it on mute. You're not putting it on mute. Kyle. Shh. Turn the football off. It's off. No, but it isn't. Well, as far as they can't tell us on. We are just in from Tesco and I want to show you. I got a few wee bits and pieces that I picked up. So first of all, I got some vegan slash vegetarian meat alternatives. I got these bacon rashers. I would normally, I'd normally kind of honestly steer clear of this sort of stuff, but it had, it was on pub card and I just thought, I haven't tried this sort of stuff in a long time, so I'll give it a go. And I got the mozzarella and pesto. Escalopes. I've had this before, they're quite nice. I think I'm gonna have them for dinner today. Yes, Kat? And then I got these like schnitzel. I've never had schnitzel, but as far as I'm concerned, I could be being like completely ignorant, but is schnitzel just essentially just like fried chicken? Soy based schnitzel breaded and pre-fried. I'm not sure if there is something like specific that makes a schnitzel a schnitzel. Yeah, I picked up this, um, which I have used on and off throughout the years. I think it's okay. It was down from 12 pound to eight pound. Mostly got it because I don't really shave the top half of my legs. So I thought it would be good to just use this on like, the top half of my legs. Also the bottom half of my legs, like just give it a go. I don't really mind shaving, but I do get a bit of razor burn. Strawberries reduced to 35p. So I'm going to cut them up and freeze them or also I will have some as a snack. I got three packets which is pretty bougie for me all for the less of one packet so I might cut some up and have some as a snack today got some essentials just to have and I got the pears I got the pear transparent soap so I want to try and do the soap rice and then I was talking to my friend Shania and she was like saying about why they need to be it needs to be the transparent soap because I always get like a white cast so I got this it was a two pack and then I also just picked up the Maybelline Lasting Fix setting spray. I would probably just wet the soap, but I suppose it makes sense to do this. And I also picked up these style of like boxer shorts, basically for wearing bodysuits, because I find when I wear bodysuits and then like skinny jeans, um, the bodysuit is just really irritating on like my inner thighs, because you've always got like buttons. So I bought little boxer shorts so I could button my bodysuit over the boxer shorts. Hello, welcome to Wednesday. I'm just doing a very quick check-in, because I actually don't think I've spoken since yesterday. So basically, Kyle watched the football after work. So once we were just working all day, and then once we finished shop work. He was watching the football and I sat and edited YouTube and then we went out and went for a walk and went to Tesco. We didn't end up eating dinner until like half past nine and then we watched tips of American God. And then same thing today, he's been downstairs studying, I've been up working. Um, I scrubbed off all my tan. As you can see, the shade of 1.0 still too dark for me without any tan. This is my real color. And Molly and I have just gone for a walk. She's in the kitchen talking to Kyle. I'm doing some tea. And then I think we're going to go get a bosom or a bow bun or something later after we have some tea. Um, but yeah, I didn't think I'd checked in. So probably show you my food later and then that'll be the end of the vlog. So this is going to be the last check-in of the vlog. Obviously Kyle is here. I have a lot of hair. Volume. <laughs> my head looks huge compared to Kyle's because I'm closer to the camera. It's not that much bigger. Will we give them a fair comparison? <laughs> yeah, so we went and we got a bao bun. I got an actual bao bun with popcorn chicken and like Korean barbecue. It was nice enough. I'm actually still really struggling to eat on the texture of um, cauliflower barbecue with like the batter on the outside. It made it feel like I was chewing my own teeth. It was awful. I bought an air fryer. I will talk about my air fryer in next week's vlog when I get a chance to use it. You got fries with chicken? Got okay with me? Mm -hmm. It was nice. It was nice. I actually don't know if it was yeah, nice. How do you? You I've had garlic aioli before. Not, chicken. not with chicken. I've not had chicken in over three years.
my mom snuck it under a pizza one time. It was a rock. But yes, Pad, come to me. I don't know how to get any closer. Tell us all what you think of my braces. I like them. You li like them? Yeah. You like actively like them or you don't actively dislike them? B. I, mm. I don't dislike them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, people were asking in my under, be worth it. under in my braces months. videos what did people what did other people think of it? I most people fine. has been most people have been very positive. People aren't as cruel as they are in the movies. Especially in the 90s movies when they everyone was a bully, yeah. except the main character, who yeah. then turned out to be super hot at the end. Like that was their development. She's all that. No. No, she would yeah. Well, What's on with Freddie Prince Jr.? Yeah, she's all that. She's all that. What I want one thing that I meant to say was I have my first works per in person work social tomorrow. Well that's the first time you're seeing them. Since March twenty twenty. So there's actually a lot of people on my team that I haven't met and then obviously everybody else I haven't seen since March twenty twenty. So I'm gonna put my fake tan on all on tonight. I'm gonna meet them all glamorous. We're going to cargo by Vertigo. It'll be good. It'll be good fun. Tad's gonna pick me up. Drop me down. I'll have the drink or two. Not in that order. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I, I was just oh go ahead. I was just thinking I'm always wearing this coat in these videos. But you know it's good? It's like continuity. You're always wearing that coat. Full stop. It's a coat. It's a good coat. Goes right. Yeah, he also keeps it on indoors all the time. Somebody doesn't pay the heat. Just kidding. They do. It's very warm. It's a lovely house. <laughs> Home. Mom, so. dad, you hear that? Yeah, it keeps them consistent and makes sure the vlog uh, knows it's the same person. It's like in those episodes of TV, so like one scene I'm holding a cup and then the next is just you can edit this, right? Mm -hmm. how, how bad would that look? Continuity error. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but yes, so I'm going to get my fake tan on and we're going to watch an episode of American Gods and I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat two donuts, I suspect. Do you eat two donuts? Ooh, crazy. You're going to eat two as well. Yeah, but I'm going to make a big deal about it. Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Weird. Oh.